Hi students, as a part of Corrosion, today I am going to make the video on factors affecting or influencing the right eye extent of corrosion. And this is a part 2 of this particular topic. Part 1 of this particular topic is given in the description. Please do watch that particular video before watching this video in order to understand this particular video so precisely. So we were discussing about uh, the nature of the metal which is the broad uh, category of uh, the factors affecting or influencing the rate and extent of corrosion. In the previous video we have discussed about uh, the galvanic series and the second one uh, the second sub factor which comes under the category of uh, the broad factor nature of the metal which affects or influences the rate and extent of corrosion is a relative area of anode and cathode. A relative area of anode and cathode. Now students, what would be the relationship between anodic and cathodic region? That is, rate and extent of corrosion is either directly proportional to anodic region or anodic area or directly proportional to the cathodic area. Cathodic area or or vice versa. So we have to discuss this, whether the rate and extent of corrosion is uh, directly proportional to anodic area or cathodic area. Now just guess students, I will give the clue for you accordingly, just guess what would be the relation. Anodic area is the area where oxidation occurs and oxidation is loss of electron. Cathodic area is the area where a reduction occurs. Reduction is gain of electrons. Now, in order to gain the electrons, what is the source of electrons for the cathodic area? So, in order to gain the electrons, the source of cathodic area is anodic area. Because when the anodic area undergo oxidation, then it loses the electrons. Now those electrons which have been lost by the anodic area are gained by the cathodic area in order to undergo the reduction process. Based upon this, I guess, just guess. So do remember students, rate and extent of corrosion is directly proportional to cathodic area. Why rate and extent of corrosion is directly proportional to cathodic area? Because, because cathodic area is the area which undergo reduction. Reduction is nothing but gain of electrons. For gaining the electrons, what is the source of the electrons? The source of the electrons is anodic area. Now, if cathodic area is more, then, then that more uh, cathodic area should undergo the reduction. In order to undergo more reduction, as there is more cathodic area, there is a huge demand of electrons. Now, what is the source of the electrons? The source of the electrons is anodic area. Now, as the source of the electrons is anodic area, as the source of electrons is anodic area, in order to satisfy the huge demand of cathodic area, anodic area should undergo more and more oxidation. More and more oxidation is nothing but more and more corrosion because oxidation is nothing but corrosion. So that is the reason why rate and extent of corrosion is directly proportional to cathodic area directly proportional to cathodic area and inversely proportional to anodic area. Anodic area. So rate and extent of corrosion, rate and extent of corrosion is directly proportional to cathodic area and inversely proportional to anodic area. Now in order in order to understand so clearly I will explain with this illustration. So here, this is the 
cathodic area. This is the cathodic area and this is the anodic area. If you see this, this is the metal. This is the metal. Let us say that this is the metal. This is the metal. And uh, this particular portion is metal surface. This particular portion is the metal surface. Now, if you see the metal surface, anodic area is small, whereas cathodic area is big or large. So, since cathodic area is large, and as this cathodic area will undergo the reduction, reduction is nothing but gain of electrons. And as the cathodic area is more, it should gain more and more number of electrons. Since it, it should gain more and more number of electrons, we can say that there is a huge demand of electrons by this large cathodic area. And in order to, in order to satisfy that huge demand of the more cathodic area, so definitely anodic area must undergo more and more oxidation. When it undergo more and more oxidation, it releases more and more electrons, more and more electrons. Now, this more and more electrons enter inside the cathodic area where the cathodic area undergo the reduction by gaining these more and more number of electrons which have come from the anodic area, which have come from the anodic area. Now, when the cathodic area is more, so more and more oxidation is taking place. More and more oxidation is nothing but what students? More and more oxidation is nothing but corrosion. More and more oxidation is nothing but corrosion because oxidation is nothing but more and more oxidation is nothing but more and more corrosion. More and more corrosion. On the other hand, if you see this, so this is also the metal and this is the metal surface. Here, the anodic area is large, whereas the cathodic area is small. Cathodic area is small. Now, cathodic area is small means what term? The demand of electrons uh, to gain the electrons uh, by the cathodic region is less. When the demand of electrons is less, when the demand of electrons is less, uh, this anodic region should undergo, undergo less oxidation less oxidation, less oxidation and release less number of electrons because uh, less amount of cathodic region is there. Since uh, less amount of cathodic region or cathodic area is more, uh, less number of uh, electrons demand is there. Since less number of electrons demand is there, uh, in order to satisfy this less number of electrons demand, this anodic area should undergo less oxidation. When it undergo less oxidation means what? Uh, less oxidation means less corrosion. Less oxidation means less corrosion. I hope you understood this. So, do remember this. That rate and extent of corrosion is directly proportional to cathodic area and inversely proportional to anodic area because whenever the cathodic area is more, then, then that more cathodic area will undergo more and more reduction and in order to undergo more and more reduction as the reduction is gain of electrons so definitely it is in need of more and more number of electrons in order to satisfy that huge demand of electrons by the more cathodic area so more anodic area should undergo more oxidation as the oxidation is the corrosion, more oxidation means more corrosion. I hope you understood this particular uh, second sub factor which is a part of nature of metal. So we have finished with the, the galvanic series which is one of the sub factor of uh, the nature of the metal. And second sub factor is uh, relative area of anode and the cathode and we know that relative area of uh, our rate and extent of corrosion is directly proportional to cathodic area and inversely proportional to anodic area. Now we are going to discuss the third sub factor which comes under the broad factor that is nature of uh, the metal. So that is purity of the metal stress. So third one is purity of the metal stress. 
purity of milk purity of milk purity of the milk purity of milk now before i explain the relationship between the purity of the metal and rate and excess of corrosion just guess students what would be the relation between the purity of the metal and rate and excess of corrosion i will give the clue for you so already i have explained the in the previous classes very clearly that as the moisture is a part of environment and as the metals are a part of environment moisture is quite common in the environment since moisture is quite common in the environment just tell me students whether uh, the dry or chemical corrosion is uh, more oftenly happen on the metal or wet or electrochemical corrosion happens quite often you know so definitely wet or electrochemical corrosion happens quite oftenly on the metal because the metal is a part of the environment and in the environment moisture is present since uh, in the environment moisture is present uh, the wet or electrochemical corrosion is quite often or quite oftenly happen on the surface of the metal so among the dry or chemical corrosion i wet or electrochemical corrosion wet or electrochemical corrosion is the one which is mainly damages the metal which is the major destroyer of the metal so since it is the major destroyer of the metal from now whatever the topics uh, about which we are going to discuss in the corrosion definitely we have to discuss in terms of wet or electrochemical corrosion only now in terms of wet or electrochemical corrosion can you tell me what would be the relationship between the purity of the metal and uh, the rate and extent of corrosion so if the metal is 100% pure surface then the surface of the metal is homogeneous then the surface of the metal is homogeneous and i have clearly explained while explaining uh, the dry and uh, wet corrosion that uh, the wet corrosion is only possible on the heterogeneous surface wet corrosion is only possible on the heterogeneous surfaces and when the metal is 100% pure then the surface is homogeneous and when the surface is homogeneous wet or electrochemical corrosion is not at all possible so since uh, when the purity of the metal is uh, 100% pure as it is homogeneous in nature then there won't be the corrosion so based upon this fact we can say that purity of the metal is inversely proportional to rate and extent of corrosion so purity of the metal is inversely proportional to rate and extent of corrosion rate and extent of corrosion rate and extent i hope you understood this now in order to understand this particular relationship between that is this particular inversely proportional relationship between purity of the metal and rate and extent of corrosion i will consider one example i will consider one example i will consider one example so let us say that uh, so let us consider the zinc metal let us let us consider the zinc metal percentage purity of zinc metal percentage purity of zinc metal rate and extent of corrosion rate and extent of corrosion
when the percentage purity of zinc metal is 100 100 percent then rate and extent of corrosion is zero because the surface is homogeneous and on only the heterogeneous surfaces uh, the wedge or electrochemical corrosion is possible and it is a major destroyer or damager of the metal now if the percentage purity of zinc metal is uh, 99.999 then the rate and extent of corrosion is 1 1 10 the rate and extent of corrosion is if the percentage purity of the same zinc metal is 99.99, then the rate and extent of corrosion is 2650 times students. 2650 times. Just think of it. When the percentage purity was 99.999, then the rate and extent was uh, rate and extent of corrosion was only one. But whenever it has been reduced to fractions, that is 99.999 to 99.99, then the rate and extent of corrosion is 2650. It is far more, far more. Because if little impurity is present on the metal or created on the metal, then that little impurity may damage the metal to the greater extent because that little impurity on the metal creates the heterogeneity. And already have explained that the heterogeneity is directly proportional to wet or electrochemical corrosion. When the homogeneous surface is converted into the heterogeneous surfaces, then the rate and extent of corrosion will increase rapidly or abruptly. So, for example, students, just take the iron nail and dip in the water and ensure the, ensure the level of the water is not decreased. When you ensure the level of the water is not decreased at all, then from top to bottom it is covered by the water. Iron nail is covered by the water. When from top to bottom iron nail is covered by the water, then, uh, then there is a homogeneity. When there is a homogeneity, that nail won't undergo the rate, that they won't undergo the corrosion at all. But instead, just expose a tip of the iron nail to the air. Just tip small portion of the iron nail to the air. Then just see it. So you can do at your home. So it undergo the corrosion drastically. Because heterogeneity has been created. That little portion at the tip of that iron nail is exposed to the air, whereas the other portion is uh, immersed in the water, creating the heterogeneity. So when the heterogeneity is created, then corrosion occurs rapidly. And uh, when the percentage purity of the zinc metal is uh, reduced from 99.99 to 99.95, then the rate and extent of corrosion is 5000 times it has been doubled. Now just imagine if it is 99%. So it undergoes uh, the corrosion trap drastically or abruptly. So it damages the metal. So heterogeneity is very much needed for the wet or electrochemical corrosion to occur and when the metal is 100% pure then there is no question of uh, the heterogeneity there is only the homogeneity and on the homogeneous surfaces the wet or electrochemical corrosion is not at all possible that is the reason percentage purity of the metal or or purity of the metal is inversely proportional to rate and extent of corrosion I hope you understood this. So thanks for watching this video.